Hey guys, Travis Gillespie, and we're going to look at here in just a second, I'm just putting up a chart, uh, we're going to look at the largest lakes of North America, and this problem wants you and I to create a scatter plot based off of this information. Well, the cool thing here is that scatter plots, when you create them, they show you relationships between two sets of data. Here, they want us to create a uh, scatter plot based on the length of the lakes and also the depth of the lakes. So we're just choosing some colors here. I'm going to highlight the areas that we're going to use for the scatter plot. And now I'm going to go into a pen and let's go ahead and label the horizontal and x axis. Oh, why a uh, horizontal and vertical axis. So this I'm going to label oh, maximum depth. Just and also I don't want to forget to use my unit. So hundreds of miles. I'm going to make this uh, easy to write out on the graph. I don't want to put down every single unit and label this from 1 to Oh, 13, 1300. No, I'm just going to use hundreds of miles. And the same here for my y axis. I'm going to call it length. And that's also going to be in. Well, I made a mistake here, guys. I'm going to backtrack before I move any further. I told you that the max depth is in miles, it's actually in feet. Cool. So hundreds of feet, and then the max depth. Is going to be, uh, I mean, the vertical axis is going to be length, and it's going to be length in hundreds of miles. Cool. So now we make my graph. The units will be easy to label, and actually won't take up too much space. So I'm get a good dark color just to write with. Use that purple again, and I'm gonna label this first point um, zero at the bottom. I think I got a crown selected, so I'm gonna fix this brush to I'll add it. Okay, so this first point is zero, and I'm gonna just label it uh, single units from one to uh, and so two, three, four. Five, six, and seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and it looks like twenty one I could put in here. Cool. So then let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I'm going to label this bottom line here, the base, 1. And I'll just extend that out just so you know that is 1. Then every other bar, or I'll label um, another value. So 2, 3, and 4. So each mark, each other mark, or every other mark receives a value of one unit. But remember, these are in hundreds of miles. So 100 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles. And the base, the depth, is actually in hundreds of feet. So now from this point, I can go ahead and uh, start plotting points on the scatter plot. Well, if you look here, let's look at uh, Lake Superior. I'm going to label Lake Superior. I want to go to, it looks like, 1,300 feet, uh, which would be at 1,300, so 13, and also up about 3.5 units. So this is 1, well, 2, 3, and this should be about 3.5 units right here. Cool. So I've got it labeled for Lake Superior. Now I'm going to go through with all of the other values as well. So I'm done with Lake Superior, and I can cross it off here or just just say let myself know okay I'm done with Lake Superior moving on to Iran here to where I have 
750, so about 7.5, and also to a little bit over two units, just about here. So here is Lake Huron. Now these aren't perfect circles. I know I'm going to try a different, uh, maybe just a different size, because it seems to be a little bit thicker than what I wanted. Yeah, that should work. So, maybe we'll just even go to the small. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go to the third value. And the third value here is uh, in Lake Michigan. Well, Lake Michigan's depth is 923 feet, so about 9, a little bit over 9, 9.2. And we're looking at also another 3 value, 307, so just a little bit over the 3 here. Right about there would be Lake Michigan. And now the Great Slave, well, that is 2,000. So we'll go down and then go up to about to the almost to three. So right here, right under the three here. Cool. And now moving on to Lake Erie. So that is at two ten and two forty one. And I did make a mistake with the last, um, looks like I made a mistake with this last uh, lake. It should be, I'm going to erase it right here and move it down. It's not 200, it is, or 2000, uh, it's 2000. I've got to go all the way down to 20 and up to 298, and that's going to be right below the three mark here, possibly even on it, um, partly. But now the next lake is Lake Erie, and Lake Erie is at 210 mile, uh, feet in depth and also 241 miles in length. Right below 2.5 would be Lake Erie. So now moving on to Ontario. Ontario would be 802 feet and also... 198. So I'm right below the two here, real close to um, uh, Lake Huron up here. So it's real close in on the plot. And now we can look at this next lake here will be at max depth 407 and also 208. Probably just above the two right here. And finally, the last one, reindeer will 700, and so about 7.2, and then also 100, so just above the 1.5 mark, or just below the 1.5 mark. So here are my five lakes scattered along the scatter plot. And if you really think about it, plotting a scat the points on a scatter plot plot is similar to plotting points on a coordinate plane with x and y axes or x and y values. Cool stuff.